The Worcester Regional Airport celebrating a milestone today, their 400,000th customer. And to celebrate, Massport held a relay race featuring teams from all around Worcester. Our Roslyn Flaherty was there and participated in the race today. She joins us live now with the details. Roslyn? Brittany, six teams participated. Our team didn't do very well, but it was more than just a competition. It was celebrating a milestone. <laughs> Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito jumps in to help the Worcester Police Department finish the runway relay challenge. I think I needed a practice session, but I'm so excited to be on our Worcester PD police team. Worcester Regional Airport celebrated JetBlue's 400,000th passenger Friday. The airline began service at the airport in 2013. One of the reasons why JetBlue took a chance in the beginning was the enthusiasm that was organized by then Lieutenant Governor Murray and now Lieutenant Governor Polito. So they see this as a, you know, a good indication that people want to uh, you know, take advantage of their service. Six teams from the city, including Worcester News Tonight, took part in the relay challenge, completing a fourth of a mile run with various obstacles. <laughs> JetBlue recently announced they will be adding a daily flight to and from JFK International Airport in New York City. If you build it, they will come. The flights are here, the people are responding, the ease of getting in and out of Worcester is incredible. The teams raised money and Massport matched it, giving $10,000 to United Way. Lieutenant Governor Polito says the airport is a valuable tool in improving the economy. This is a, an incredible city that has got incredible momentum and we're building on the success that we've seen here and our investments at it as an administration partnering with Massport, partnering with JetBlue, partnering with our academic institutions will allow us to continue to grow this economy, more jobs and opportunities, more people wanting to come in and out of this city. Now, flights won't be able to fly to JFK until a Cat 3 technology is installed that allows planes to land in low visibility, and Massport says it'll be installed by the end of this year. Brittany.